Welcome back to the second server tour of the Galactic Renegade season. And the first base that we're having a look at today is Von Ruger's. Von Ruger is one of our moderator and team, and they have been working extremely hard and building some really, really unique ships. This this might upset a few people, I'm not too sure. This is definitely a Star Trek inspired ship. I don't know if this is a real one. I, I very much doubt it. The CB1071. Look at that. It's got stars with hearts in his engines. This is really creatively different. This is just totally cool and very original, I guess. So it's got a love heart as an upper disc there. It's got this lower segment down below, and then it's got rainbow stripes as connection points. I'm a bit worried about what might be inside this one. Workshop built by ZOCMF. Okay, so Vaughn has printed off by the look of it or built themselves something from the workshop and it's got a funky dance floor inside here as well what a unique and unusual ship that is to have in this world of course we've got the little cube that we saw last time down below we have some sort of miniature looking submarine very cool indeed and over on this side we have this brown sort of ship that looks like it's got some sort of capturing claw at the front another very unusual shape and towards the back here, it looks like he's got maybe... Is this the back or the front? That's the problem with ships. I can never quite tell. It's got a railgun here, so I'm guessing this could be the front of the ship. But another really unique design. Of course, the base itself has stayed the same. And there's this other green ship that is looking like it's starting to take shape. Or maybe it is taking shape. Maybe this is the design of this green ship. It's hollow out in the center. Very unique. Lots of interesting designs here, Von, but let's continue on. Now, our next stop is the ASI base. Now, I tried to cover as many of the players who have been building frequently, but you can see that they've got the carrier here from last time. This time, it looks like it's been slightly differently equipped with a very different fighters on the deck here, as well as this hover tank at the back here with this cool railgun turret. So that's the carrier. Then they've got their smaller frigates that we briefly had a glance at last time, but this time they're not docked with the actual station. And they've got this other ship here. And I don't think I saw this one last time. Or if I did, I confused it with the others. And this one's got two railguns down. Oh, well, a singular railgun. Is there another railgun behind this segment? Yes, so two railguns hidden down the front. So this looks like a bit of a, a sniper type ship. Very unique sort of design. And this different change of colour for ASI this season is really quite fantastic. So having a look around the back, we've got the thrusters tucked in there. And then we've got the station itself that we saw last time. But the station is just really beautiful. A lot of exposed cargo and refinery, but it's, it's a real beauty here with that 3D printer in the centre and that little command module over to the side. Nice work, ASI. Let's continue on. Now, our next stop is the NBC base. Now, the NBC base, we had a look at it last time, but it has evolved quite a bit. So let's take a look around. Last time, I was in awe of this sort of transport SAS production vessel that was over here. This was really beautiful in design. It just looks so industrial. Now, coming over here, I think I'm actually looking at this whole base the wrong way up. Let's let's see if I am doing that. Yes, yes, I am looking at it the upside down way. So let's... Uh, let's rotate the sun around that's the hardest thing about space is understanding perspective and which way is up and down so let's have a look at some of these large frigates we've got here we had a glimpse at this last time but you can see it's got that lovely sort of transport craft on the back of the deck there these ships are just so aesthetically pleasing so this is the the, the war spit spite war spite Aaron's not very good at reading or any words or language so please do not blame me for that We've got lovely green ambience in the production room here. Coming into the front, we have got ourselves a nice little briefing area. Anything going on in the further area? Oh, we've got a very industrial vibed lower quarters down here with the gyroscopes. It's nice that these things are accessible as well. Something that a lot of people forget is they ram all of these components behind walls and things and people just can't get to them when they become damaged. Trying to navigate a ship when it's damaged in Space Engineers is a, a really hard thing to do, especially when you're in the midst of combat. I can hear damaged components saying that in here somewhere. But yeah, this is an absolute labyrinth of a ship in there. So let's head over onto this side. Now this looks like we've got another carrier, but look at these on the deck. Aren't these beautiful? See the array of these with that counter wing sort of design. Gatling guns on either side. They've got the missile pods. These are the ones we looked at last time that have got these droppable rocket pods on the side. So once the rocket salvo is used up, just dump them and go. And you could reload another one when you get back to base, perhaps. Then we've got like a transport up at the front here. This one's got like a little interior going on. Weapons racks on the side, seating at the back here. The creations that happen on these servers, are just, they're, just, they're just beautiful. I'm always in awe of what the community can build. 
especially when they, they build it and take it into action. It's got a little drop ramp there at the back. Oh, I like, I like oh, you know me. I'm going to get excited to get over this loading ramp. <laughs> oh, it happened last time. But there's a lovely loading ramp. We've got a little tank in the front, or out the back, sorry. Another tank there again. Yeah, this is so much detail. This is this is lovely work you've done, Lion. You've done, you've done us proud here with this creation. Let's go up and have a quick look at the base, because we didn't have a look inside the base last time. So it might just be hollow in regards to some areas like that. But we have got some catwalks that lead ourselves through to the center area. And the center area does lead up to this sort of command and control area. Let's dip down to this lower segment because there's definitely something going on inside here. So these are small hangars out to the side. Refineries, production. Looks like a lot more of the interior time has gone into the ships themselves. And I understand that because making a base or a station aesthetically pleasing the inside can take a lot of time when... Do it. Spending the time on building the ships is quite important because they're the bits that really attract your attention. So a really nice base here, Gifted Lion. Let's have a look at this as well. A lovely little fighter there. Look at that. That is a wide boy right there. Weapons on either side of the cockpit. Got these little decoy pods to the side. Yeah, you've got a real nice collection of ships here. I really like this transport as well. But if, you, if people start putting more ramps in the design, I'm just going to be instantly attracted over to them for some reason. But great work, Gifted. Let's continue on. Now, our next stop is another really exciting one. This one has one of these giant star-type ships that we've seen in seasons before. But just look at the beauty and the detailing of this thing, how it's been staggered. And is it called the Death Star, this? You'll have to let me know in the comment section. I know, it, I know it's from something, but you guys know all my, my sci-fi knowledge just seems to fall apart when I start to talk. So we've got these little drone, these little scorpion-like drones here that can be launched. They're completely AI-orientated, I believe, as well. So these can help intercept targets, leaving the player to pilot the main ship and focus the weapons. Down below here, we've got ourselves... Is this is this part of the central hub, or is this another ship? It looks like another ship. What exactly is this? This looks like some other sort of star design. These are really unique spacecraft. So coming in through this door here, what have we got going on? So is this like a mobile production yard? With some large, smaller drones. More drones in here. Loot Goblin have really, really gone to town with the drones in here. I'd be excited to see how just how well these operate. So coming into this section here, we've got some more drones that can be launched from underneath here as well. And then we've got some of the larger ships. And I've seen some of these larger ships show up in the events. And they're just so scary looking. With this purpley underglow and these red sort of glows to them as well. But look at that. Look at the detail we've got there. Weapons staggered off at various different components. We've got these under thrusters that have been chucked into here. These ships have been so carefully crafted. Coming down below, you can see that other thruster. Let's wrap around the back. You can see them engine cells to the side there. Oh, really damn awesome. Look at that rear thruster housing as well. It's got like a bit of a tail, this one as well. <laughs> oh, very cool. Let's um, zoom out and just see what else we've got going on down here. So we've got another ship that's staggered off to the side there. That looks like possibly something to pull things out from the printer or a, a smaller combat grid. And then we've got this thing. And I've seen this at events as well. This is actually still damaged from an event by the look of it. But it's got some real interesting shapes and angles going to it. Lots of decoys and, and bits coming off to the side. You can see these longer struts. Really cool and unique design. It's got a little face down at the front there. Almost looks like a little snake. But look at that. There are layers and layers of cannons as well as them decoys. We've got a little fake cockpit up here at the top. And then you've probably got some real guts going down in here. Oh yeah, so here's the real command center and control room. Really cool. Real nice to see some fantastic ships that we've had a look at so far. Let's have a quick dive into this one as well because I'd feel rude if we didn't. So let's just see what's going on here. These might be more... Uh, we've got a little door going into this entrance. Let's spin ourselves back around. Oh, so this one has more of an alien sort of interior, I would call it. Let's turn the lighting off and get the, the ambient environment. Yeah, it's got a really sort of creepy alien environment going on here. Yeah, it doesn't doesn't have that same sort of space human vibe that the other locations have. Or the other ships, I should say. But there we go. Lovely base. Let's move ourselves on. Now, our next stop is RAB's base. And RAB base, from what I believe I've heard from players, has also been used to print off various people's grids as well and help people out that have been struggling or been a bit demotivated after they've lost things in events. So we've seen the overall appearance of this sort of shipyard before. They've got that large antenna mass. But let's have a look at the ships that we've got going on here. We've got these really beautifully detailed... Look at the sort of angles and lines. There's so much going on to these detail and design. We've got the Hope, the RAB Hope here. 
got turrets on the lower sections there as well thrusters down the middle we've got thrusters in this upper section and just have a look at this engine base cell area at the back i think i'm getting something for engine base cell areas at the rear maybe we, <laughs> maybe maybe it's just something that i enjoy we've got a little landing pad there at the back as well and then we've got various different ways of getting in but there's just so many angles to this let's have a look at this top bridge so of course this is what you call a, a pretty bridge in the business not one you'd actually hang out in complete with an interior turret at the back and then this one looks like it's got quite an interior. So let's have a little bit of an explore through here. Some sort of airlock system going on through here. It's air survival kits. And we've got various different armories and airlock that takes us you to the outside. Let's have a dive in the inside as well. Is this going to be more of a functional ship? No, there's going to be more areas. We've got a command and control center down here. Leading into a whole network. Spark of Hope control panel. We've got a reactor sort of room really nicely detailed in here there's lots of access ways to fix things as well as detailing towards the ceiling sections and then it looks like we're going more into these industrial lower areas down there as well but let's continue on so we've got these little catwalk areas that connect everything up at this base that i really do like let's have a go at this um other rab ship now this is a carrier by the looks of it we've got various different rab sort of large fighters here what catch me off guard with these a little bit is look the cockpits are staggered off to the side here that might not be for everyone, but it's quite a nice and unique design. We've got a really cool hangar bay here with these orange sort of support beams in the upper section as well. So let's have a quick zoom out and have a look at that. So yeah, a really nice carrier there. Of course, we've got the main shipyard, very capable of printing some large grids. And then we've got this black and green sort of menace here. This is a very spooky looking ship with them sort of sharp angles up to the top there. Then as we come around the front, of course, there's going to be some firepower tucked within that nose section. And then we've got the main industrial and production hub. All really nicely detailed still. They've got these little control towers. We've got various different weapons to defend themselves. And then they've got access into the inside. And we had a brief look in here before. But you can see that there is still a dynamic scene going on here using the random NPC. Someone greeting someone there. And a lovely control room in the center of their base. It's, it's a lovely bit of work, this RB, And I appreciate them helping out other players as well who do need or do get a bit stuck We've got a massive solar array to this side, but let's continue on. Now, our next stop is DBS. That's if you can hear me over the, the clanging that's happening over the DBS base. It could just be loose components. Let's just check if it is. So if we go on to our admin tools and just have a quick look. I can't, I can't even think space. We need to go to trash cleanup. There we go. Trash removal. Other. Remove floating objects. Has that caused the issue to stop? Yes, so there were some loose floating objects. That's what was happening over at the DBS base. But as you can see, DBS have been working themselves on the printer. We saw this. They had a very minimalistic base last time. They've got this green sort of ship here. A very unusual sort of shape, but it's blending into the background quite interestingly. And then we've got a door at the front here with vents on the side here. I don't know what these vents quite do. Let's go inside. So this has some sort of welding platform inside here. What exactly is this? Oh, so it's cannons with weld. Oh, so the cannons perhaps can fire through the, the gap in the... Or can fire through the blast door or the blast door opens up. Very interesting idea. Down below, we've got some more weapons. There's in the survival kit as well down there. And then, of course, we have the DBS or Unicorn Giant Unicorn ship. And I wouldn't underestimate this, guys, because these giant unicorns, when we've seen them in the, the past fought by DBS, they've really caused some damage. What's going on at the back here? Oh, it's fully loaded with even more unicorns on the inside. Look at that. Wow, that is loads of unicorns. That's 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 unicorns fully loaded at the back. Thrusters tucked on the inside in here. What's going on through here? I just got a glimpse of it. So this is a giant pink unicorn hologram. Wow, this, this, this interior is just... It's really nicely laid out for being a ton of thrusters, isn't it? We've got the... Rail guns at the front there. I can't find the control center just yet, but I'm guessing it's it must be somewhere tucked in behind, perhaps in here. Yeah, some sort of control center going on through there behind blast doors. But look at that as a design. That's just so unique and so different. Let's have a look at the little... We've got a little tongue up at the front there. Of course, there's going to be a rail gun or a camera tucked in there. Look how that camera's been tactically hidden behind these ducts here, so it limits its arc of fire, so it has a less chance of being destroyed. And then, of course, it's got its eyeballs at the top, party hats, and artillery and assault cannons down the side. It's also got, like, a, a little golden ring around this one, like a golden harness. 
that leads up to the main as well. Really, another really unique and interesting ship here by DBS. I wouldn't expect anything less from Unicorn, though. Now, the next base we've arrived at is ION. ION have got some really nice sort of light to heavy sort of cruisers here that have a nice mix of weaponry across the deck. They've gone with this white and orange colour scheme here. We can use our torch to illuminate. You can see that these little cockpits inside these areas. We've got weapons going down the sides. Lots of detailing going along the side of the ship here as well as a little hangar bay towards the rear, complete with two docking bays to the side. Coming around the back, you can see the thrusters of the hybrid design of Ion and Hydrogen. Always a good shout. Then they've got another interesting looking ship here. It's got these like almost sort of a staggered column like sliding devices that are going across the top of it. And that leads to the main deck here. And I thought this was originally going to be some sort of carrier, but I just believe these are vents for the actual thrusters. They are not rocket ports. Coming down the side, we've got an even smaller little ship here. This has got probably a nice railgun in the nose. Yes, I thought it would. But another cute but probably quite deadly design. Now, coming over here, we actually have the ION base facilities. We saw this orb-type ball thing last time. This was their main base with these little jutted-out turret segments on the side here. They've got this lovely miner designed on the side there. Little docking bay for their welding ship. And if we come inside here, they've got a complete industrial and production area and everything that, that they might need going on inside there. Over here, they've got themselves another sort of utility ship i believe this is like more of a hauler type ship but if you look very closely this ship's actually got a face to it there and you can see the little eye in the mouth and this large spike towards the front i was having a look at these as well to try and work out if these have a face to them as well but no it just appears that this one has the face let's have a dive inside you can see the turrets are protected by some blast doors there and it's got some docking systems here so perhaps this is something that can launch drones or other little fighters out of the belly of it but a very cool base ion uh, sorry ion ION, yes, lovely base. Let's move on. Now, our next stop is MOP Space, and MOP have really been busy. There's so much to have a look at here. So, of course, they've got the original structure with the big solar array that we saw and the orange structure that goes down the center. I'll have a quick dive inside here so you can see it's got an antenna dish going down. And then this is just mainly a production and refinery hub so they can process and build these various ships. We've got this giant orange and black ship here. That does really look menacing. It's got a very traditional look for a ship with the cannons recessed down in the areas. It's got a giant bridge towards the front there. And I'm guaranteed it's got a very vast interior going on through here. So we've got everything from cryo bays leading forward to refinery. So this could be like a, a mobile base in itself, I'm guessing. Oh, and it's got a church, <laughs> it's got a church of Aaron. This is defi definitely, uh, definitely a mop creation there in the front of it. <laughs> Oh, I didn't expect to see that aboard that. It's something I haven't seen on the server for a while, actually. Um, so coming over here, it looks like someone has been playing some Helldivers because this does look like one of the ships from Helldivers. Let's have a look at this one because this one looks a little bit more compact than the one we looked at the other day. It's still got all the details in the relevant places. It's got thruster housing to the rear. It's always nice to see how people do a similar design, especially when they're recreating something. So coming up here... We've got the catwalk and entry area. A bit more of an accurate representation. Of course, them pods are hard to replicate within Space Engineers. And as they come through the back, that's where you'd load in from your cryopod at the back there. Then it's got thrusters and everything else tucked on the inside in here as well. So quite a cool little mini replica of the Helldiver ship there. Now, coming down below, we've got this craft. We briefly looked at this, I believe, last time. But look how cool that looks in that. Is it black and a sort of a navy, well, sorry, a white and a, like a navy bluey black grey on the front there. Got these little winglet tips on the side that extend out, bristling with weapons, decoy pods, and we've also got hangars down here at the back. Oh, the hangars actually got something in this time. We've got a small ship there. We've got this overseeing sort of area. And of course, this ship is complete with an interior. Oh, well, it's not doing very well inside it. It looks like it's a little damaged. Maybe it could be the, the distance between that thruster and that uh, nuclear reactor, something you might want to look into so you don't combust or explode. But yeah, a nice little interior in the back of this hangar bay that is extremely nicely detailed. Very ambient hangar bay in here. Let's go outside. We'll go a bit further down. We have got the, what's this? Mop thunder wall the thunder wall look at the thrusters on that oh if i was a man for thrusters then this this would be the sort of thrusters that i like to be drawn to we've got ions we've got hydrons mixed in there that is a really nice rear view of a ship that with all them thrusters like this and then towards the front here it looks like we've got a very heavy armored design is this a cap 
I thought this was going to be some sort of cap. No, this is like it's a decoy design ship. Something that is made to take up lots of damage with these decoys in here. As well as the placement of the gyroscopes. But yeah, it looks like it can take a lot of damage. And perhaps give it out a big wall of artillery cannons across the top and the bottom. That would be scary. Getting all your weapons on target like that in Space Engineers can be extremely lethal. This is a stunning base map. You've done some real great work this season building all of this. If we come to these upper little pads, there's nothing on here at the moment. But well, there's some extra cargo storage as well. But great work map. Let's move on to the next base. Now my next base to look at is BMG. I'm just checking over at the sheet. Yes, it's BMG. Now BMG have got these really cool, almost Star Wars looking ships. I don't know if you guys think the same as well. They have like a bit of a Star Star Wars type vibe. They've got this three engine thruster sequence at the back here being used with these LCDs. Very nice. They've got this lovely yellow and black sort of contrast going towards them. And then towards the front here, they've got this sort of wedge shape that is then reinforced of course with some tasty weaponry on the inside and this is the choice of artillery weapons down here is a really good choice now going over to the base itself we've got the 3d printing armor of on this side and we've got another ship a drill ship down towards the bottom but i like the use of these hydrogen tanks yes they're a bit exposed and they they could be blown off but they've not got too much of a worry of that happening in this season at the minute so they've got this really large sort of orb or roundish shape in the center. They've got some Thunderfleet sort of logos and graphics coming from the Core Space Engineers game. And if we go inside here, we have ourselves a lovely little hangar bay with some other small fighters tucked on the inside here as well. You can see there's quite a few of them, so they might be some quite useful ones. They've got another one of these ships on the other side. I'm just trying to have a look at these side by side, and I do think they're slightly different in design. The thruster housing looks a little bit different. There's also a damaged sort of fighter or transport up on the top here. Yeah, it looks like a little transport. So a little transport that's received some damage here. It's got this little uh, camera up at the front there to protect the driver. Let's have a dive inside here and see if it's just production. So we've got the ships on the top floor, and then I'm guessing we've got production down in these lower segments. So yeah, that's what it's looking like, production, hydrogen, storage. So a really cool base. Let's continue ourselves on, though. Now, last but not least, we have in this beautiful white camouflage, we have TBD, otherwise known as Custard. So this is another really interesting ship with a, probably a, a little bit of a weakness in terms of weapons. We'll only be able to fire from the side because they won't be able to shoot through each other. Got a railgun at the front there, but it does look like it is, well, it has taken a bit of damage in an event. And that's what I like to see, players showing up to events and getting these ships skirmished. Now, the base itself... Is quite a chunky one. There is some of these really zesty, when I say zesty, limey, I should say, looking fighters in here. These would definitely give you an epilepsy warning when you're firing them that close to the cockpit, if you know what I mean. If you ever play Space Engineers and you put Gatling guns this close to your cockpit, you are in trouble, I'll tell you. I'll tell you that. But a really cool little base, production, layout, everything going on. And for a solo player, this is a really cool way to get yourself started. Throw yourself a base together, get yourself working on a large ship. And that is it. This is the final servitor of this season, so there'll be an end battle, and we've still got many events planned in this final week. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you enjoyed this presentation of the server, hit that like button. It really does help, and I will see you next time.